Big changes with the storm system for the weekend. I've noticed over the last couple of hours as this rain is moving to the north, as it's bumping into the dry air, the dry air is winning. So look at this. That wind is out of the northeast at the ground and also in the upper levels of the atmosphere, it's more out of the north. We're tapping into dry air. Our temperatures outside are cold right now because the air is dry. And this dry air may shut down the rain chances for a lot of our areas for the upcoming weekend. This is really interesting. I've seen a couple of model updates here in just the last few hours. And look at this. As we look at our forecast for tomorrow morning, I'm still actually seeing a mixture of sunshine and clouds across many of these areas here in this yellow zone. So we'll have a little bit of sunshine as we start our Saturday. The wind will still be strong and we'll have a mixture of sunshine and clouds switching over to just mainly clouds by the afternoon. The chances for rain now in the afternoon on Saturday only looks to be into Northeast North Carolina and the Outer Banks. So that's at three o'clock on Saturday. Now at six o'clock on Saturday, look what's going on here. That dry air is still coming in out of the north. So we have that flow at the ground that's out of the northeasterly direction ahead of the storm system. But we have to remember, where are the clouds? They're not at the ground. They're in the upper levels of the atmosphere. Upper levels of the atmosphere, the wind is still more out of the north. And we're just tapping into dry air that's to our north. So this thing, the storm system, if the trend continues the way it is kind of hinting at right now, may not bring us any or any significant rain for the area. Now we're looking at Sunday morning. Look at that. Sunshine and clouds. Sunday midday, mostly cloudy. No rain basically anywhere. And then Sunday into the nighttime hours, I'm still not seeing any rain. This is really a big change with the storm system. So we'll have to see if this verifies or not. A lot of the long range models are also saying the same thing. So this isn't just one model saying this. This is three different models saying the same thing with their same update. It's because of that dry air and it may help to shut down the storm system which would be good for us. Look at the rainfall forecast, nothing, maybe a hundredth of an inch, basically nothing. Earlier it had six inches for Hatteras, now for Hatteras, maybe an inch. So a big change with the storm system. We'll keep an eye on it though. I don't think we can lock this in quite yet since it's just a major change here in one model run, but it's something that we're gonna have to maybe expect now for the weekend. I'm still gonna say a chance for a few showers Saturday afternoon, Rain South Sunday, the model that you see here on the side of the screen, uh, that's the older run actually. That run hasn't updated yet. That's why it shows green everywhere. The wind gust could still be kind of strong and there could be some minor tidal flooding. Let's look at the wind speed forecast. I still think we're gonna have the wind with the storm system, but probably not as strong because it's farther away from us. We don't have the rain. We're not closer to the center of the storm. We're not going to see as strong of the winds. Wind speeds across the Outer Banks could still get close to 45 miles an hour. And there's been a concern that there could be some highway overwash for Highway 12. That could be a problem still. High tide, 9 a.m., Saturday and also Sunday. So that's one thing that we'll be watching for. Tides could be at minor tidal flooding for the Hampton Road cities. Otherwise, we're looking at uh, conditions that should be okay for the Hampton Road cities or more tidal flooding for the Outer Banks. That's the change. It's weird, and it's a big change without seeing any rain. We'll see what happens. Updates coming up at 10 and 11 tonight. We'll also have updates throughout the weekend. Steve Fundera will be in Saturday morning and also Sunday morning. I'll be in Saturday night, and Steve will be in Sunday night to give you updates on the storm system. We'll see what we get. Have a good night.